the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Headshot day today. I have never done this before, but I am going to get tanned AF. This is not product placement. One of my wrestler buddies, uh, Brady Pierce, told me about this stuff. But I usually always break out. Uh, I've got really sensitive skin, and it gives me like eczema all over my body every time in the past when I've used fake tan on sets. Like when they're like, hey, you're a little pale, we need to tan you up. They throw it on there, and I think because it's caked on my skin for so long throughout the day, that's what kind of doesn't allow it to breathe and then it starts breaking out into these itchy bumps. What I like about the idea of this, we'll test it out today, is that it says you just put it on, leave it on for an hour, and that will uh, get you to the desired, you know, really tan level, and then you wash it off in the shower. So I think being able to wash it off, maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't break out. Um, but even if I do, potentially kind of worth it. Just need to be tanned for these pictures and then I can walk out around uh, pasty in my everyday life. So uh, before I do that, I think I'm actually gonna clean up the beard just a little bit. This is a Philips Norelco facial trimmer. It's got different guard levels and whatnot. A two on the neck. Just taking it down a little bit right here. I wanna keep a little bit of neck hair, make it look like I don't care that much. I'm a rugged guy, but not Grizzly Adams rugged, you know. All of these pictures are for you know, the casting directors and whatnot. Basically, your agents will submit you to a role that they think you're right for, and then submit a headshot that most aligns with whatever the breakdown of that character uh, was described as. The casting directors are gonna get hundreds, maybe thousands of submissions from different agents for their clients, and they're gonna have to scroll through quickly and then be like, oh, that one grabbed my eye, that looks, okay, let's bring him in, him in, him in. So you need your photos to kind of pop. And so I generally don't put this much detail into my look, um, you know, outfits, facial hair, this, that, and the other, but for the pictures, it's really important because that's what leads to getting jobs and making money and making the most of this, this dream. Kind of debating whether just keeping this the length that it is right now or taking like a, a five guard going over the mustache a little bit. It's a risk. Uh, I may nip at it and see what it looks like. Uh, some of this is coming over my lip, so I'll just take this, kind of edge it down a little bit. One thing I'm kind of wrestling with in the idea of these uh, photos is do I take this down a little bit to more of a stubble look before the clean shave look because in my everyday life I'm, I don't rock a beard um, I'm more of a clean shave guy uh, kind of just have always felt like I look better with it I like the routine of it get more kisses at home from my wife and my daughter they hate facial hair so um, it'd be more likely in my everyday life when the casting people see these pictures, I would have stubble, not a beard. And so I don't know if this will be misleading where they see the picture, they like it, and then they see me in the audition and it's it's not this. But it takes like three weeks to get to this length, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, sport thinking, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Here comes the potentially risky part, self-tan. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to apply this right. Hopefully I get it right, but um, goes nothing. Those honors are made for chicks because I barely squeezed my muffin in there. Here we go. Oop, I'm good. I don't have to go too much detail on the legs. I'll just cover kind of the top portion of my thighs and knees. But I heard the knees and elbows and the hands are kind of the trickiest parts. You gotta make sure it really doesn't get patched up in that area. really gonna test my shoulder flexibility. Maybe if I can get my back. First big tan I ever got was on the set of teachers, this sitcom. And uh, my wife was on her way home. I was home before her and I said, hey, I got a surprise for you. And uh, she came home and I was just laying on her side of the bed. 
in my boxers, all fake tanned up. And she was really pissed that it wasn't a real surprise. Again, this is my first time. This is just a theory I came up with on the fly. I kind of did two layers everywhere. I think I'll just do one on the neck so it blends from like dark to, okay, kind of dark, but it's a blend you don't notice. And then my face is not gonna get tanned because that would be weird. Probably break out too. Set a timer for one hour. All right, that's it, I believe. Hopefully I hit all of the spots well. All right, here we go. I got some time to get my push day workout in before I had to do my headshot session. I got to drive an hour out. I don't have time to do this workout the way I'd like to. It won't be complete, but it will be something. Keep the needle moving. Um, I'm going to do a continuous circuit, incline barbell bench to uh, rope tricep extensions, come over and do lateral raise, dumbbell curls with the same dumbbells and just run through that. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just film one so I can get this packed up and just ready to head out the door. Here we go. Uh, I would do this later to get the workout I want to, but I'd rather keep the needle moving. I won't have time later. And if I try to lift before bed, kiss my sleep good goodbye. Um, but I also kind of like the idea of getting the pump in before the shoot, even though I'll, I'll lose it before the shoot. Something about really exerting myself and getting a pump already in the day makes it easier to get back to it later in the day. Ah. Whew. Whew. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Also, throughout the headshot session, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna bring my bands with me and get a bunch of banded work, do push-ups. I'll be continuing to kind of hit a lot of these same muscle groups throughout the day to ensure that I'm pumped for certain looks that I'm doing. Already got my uh, nine ounces of ground beef, taco seasoning, and 250 grams of white rice ready for me to hit the road. Uh, I'm gonna run through some more of these. Catch y'all out there. I'm here with Haley, amazing photographer. We've worked together probably several times yeah, now. Yeah, three maybe. Yes, so we're doing some headshots today. We had already gotten started and then I went in my bag to grab some stuff and realized, oh shoot, I, I wanted to shoot some of this. So you're gonna get to see her work her magic today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's see it. Yeah. I told you I was a meathead, Haley. Yeah, that's I told her, hey, we're doing some buff guy pictures today and uh, I might, <laughs> crank into some push-ups and here I am with my bands so get a little pump going before pictures with the black tank on and get the optical illusion that I'm a little bigger than maybe I am it's crazy it just makes your veins pop up and yeah. things are good to go you're ready Right, one step forward. Awesome. Really find that confidence, that tall stance. 
Your arms just look not so giant. <laughs> And then turn yourself towards the wall again. Oh, So I'm just going to have you kind of just like, like a rest back. Okay. Cool guy stance. I'm just going to kind of look towards your camera. Weird thing to tell somebody. <laughs> uh, that looks great. The lighting is so good. Pull your elbow out towards me just a tad. There we go, yeah. That brings a lot of definition into the arm. I'm going to give you maybe a, a jacket to hold. Yeah. Yeah. Got a couple down. We're killing it. Hey, I'm just sitting in front of a camera. Like just kind of exploring and playing, and I'll like follow your lead, but also like still direct you. Yeah, I absolutely. Gonna... Oh yeah, Rich. All right. got a little under an hour left on the shoot and to make the most of the shoot here we go Let's shave get some clean shaven shots or stubble shots and beard shots it's hard to see outside so i gotta get in front of a mirror over here there we go figure out how uh short to take it down i put a two guard on it <coughs> secret nail polish. Successful session with my friend Haley Allen. What's your um, socials? My socials are um, at Saturn and Sun, like the planets, dot co. So at Saturn and Sun dot co. Awesome. Go follow her. Anybody in the Middle Tennessee area and beyond, Haley Allen is your woman. She uh, killed it, gave great direction all day. Um, super fun. Got a bunch of looks. 
We had yeah, a blast, we had, didn't we? We did so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. One more high five. One more. Yeah.